Where am I now? I could have swore I was with Iron Man in Quotation Lab not long ago. But this, this place looks familiar. Like I've been here before. Hey, wait a minute. I'm in my old room. Man, I've not been here in years. Not since I lived with my grandparents, anyway. I wonder if this is Segway's doing. Nah, he wouldn't do something like this. Or maybe he would. It's nice to see my old room again. Sorry, guys. Reminiscing and all that. But, you know what? This is a new show. Maybe I should tell you a little something about it. So I'll grab a seat and we'll talk. Here we go. Welcome to Real to Real. This new to the channel show is all about me reviewing a series of films and grading it out of a hundred. You know who I am. I'm your host, Movie Man. Rapidly reviewing a series of films to save you the time. And we're going to start today with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Phase One. So that basically means from Iron Man to the Avengers. The first one. So you're wondering what the criteria is, right? So I'll break it down right now. Grading goes like this. So 0 to 10 are abysmal movies, ones that should not be watched. 11 to 20 are bad movies that are boring and can be watched if you're a sadomasochist. 21 to 30 are bad movies that are ironically fun to watch. The Room is a good example. 31 to 40 are bad movies that have some good moments, but not many. 41 to 50 are average movies, nothing of note. 51 to 60 are above average movies that still have some flaws. 61 to 70 are great movies worth watching. 71 to 80 are movies that are brilliant and worth watching more than once. 81 to 90 are movies that define their genre. 91 to 100 are masterpieces of cinema that deserve praise for taking the medium in a diverse direction. Now for a little bit of fun. I am only allowed to review these films with two sentences. So this will be kind of tricky for me. To begin, let's go to Iron Man. The one that started the MCU. Seeing this character done justice was a real treat. Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man, the definitive take on the character, and it solidified Marvel's method of making movies a little too well. Somewhat better than the 2003 weirdness that was Ang Lee's Hulk, Edward Norton gives a great performance as the tortured Bruce Banner, although the story is a little boring in some areas. This one introduces us to Don Sheedle as War Machine, which is a great addition to the MCU, not as groundbreaking as its predecessor, but still a great movie with great characters. It also gave us Black Widow. Everyone gives a fantastic performance. Marvel is starting to hit their stride at this point. The comedy is on point too, and it has that distinct Marvel flair. A love letter to times gone by. It has a heart and a soul that it's not afraid to show. And I mean, Hugo Weaving as Red Skull? After him being the main antagonist in Matrix? Uh, yes please. This is it. The culmination of all the movies prior. Hinted at for years and finally the wait paid off. It's a spectacular romp that shows how far we've come in cinema. And that's it for now. So join me next time as we take a look at some Ever Space Outlaws and a mechanical menace who did not last an age. So until then, I'll see you. Okay. Man, it's so weird being back in my grandparents' house after all these years. Ah, not again!